find the most venomous snake here and circle it. Hi, good evening. Uh, first of all, happy World Snake Day. I'm sitting in the most interesting corner in this office that you can see a number of photographs of what we call as Malabar Pit Viper. They're colorful, they're elusive, and they're found in the Western Ghats largely. Snakes are misunderstood across the world, especially in India. So today, let's discuss a few things about, you know, the kind of myths about snakes, which, which most of us believe. Most of us think that all the snakes are venomous. Not exactly. Only very few snakes are venomous. In India, we have more than 370 species of snakes, but only a handful. I'd say about 30 or 40 species are venomous. And only less than a dozen snakes are what we call as medically important snakes. Medically important means if any of the snakes bite you, you have to go to hospital. They have enough venom which can be lethal to a human being. But largely, snakes are non-venomous and they are actually very useful for people around because snakes are the best pest controllers in our ecosystem. You know, the image about snakes in India is the famous snake charmer with a cobra and the snake charmer playing a flute and the cobra is dancing. Uh, first of all, snakes can't hear anything. They're actually responding to the movement of that uh, bean or the movement of the knee of the snake charmer. So it is, it's absolutely uh, a baseless um, belief that snakes can, um, you know, snakes can, uh, snakes can respond to music, none of the snakes. Uh, can uh, hear anything and they can't respond to any kind of sounds around. Snakes do sense people or any other things around uh, through a different mechanism, not by hearing. In fact, the snake charmer is tricking people around. Uh, usually it is a cobra. I mean, it's most cases the snake charmer will show only a cobra because cobra snakes are, I, I said that they're kind of, you know, very easy snakes to fool them. Anything which you, you know, take it in front of them and, and you just move, the, the, the cobra will start following that. Basically, the, the behavior of cobra when it uh, when it uh, sees something in front of it, 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 it raises up its head and it will spread the hood. It is actually in, in, in nature, it is a warning symbol that uh, the cobra is actually telling you that I'm a cobra, I'm a venomous snake, I don't want to bite you, please leave me alone. It is just a display mechanism of the cobra. But uh, when a snake charmer does this uh, dance or you know performance with a cobra, luckily we don't see snake charmers these days, uh, it is basically the movement of that flute in front of the snake, the snake is responding to that. If ever you observe a snake charmer very closely, not only the flute but also he will use his knee to agitate the snake. So both the flute and the knee is moving in front of the snake and the snake is following that and spreading the hood and uh, that creates a, a situation where people think that oh the cobra is is fiercely attacking the, the, the snake charmer, nothing like that. It is just a, 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 a kind of a true showmanship which the snake charmer is doing. Snakes are cold-blooded reptiles. They have no connection with milk. So, thinking that snakes will drink milk, that itself is, is absolute foolishness. Snakes don't drink milk. But it is part of our belief or culture that we offer milk to snake gods. But that's a ritual, that's a symbolism, that's just symbolism. But in reality, in nature, snakes are very far away from milk. And snakes can't digest milk. Sometimes, you know, snake charmers or performers show that a snake is drinking milk. In such cases, that snake is actually kept dehydrated for days, maybe probably weeks. And then if you offer it anything liquidy, it will, it will try to drink. Snakes can actually drink liquid. I mean, snakes can drink water. But if you offer milk to a snake which is badly dehydrated, it will drink. And that will, you know, that videos these days will show that, okay, snake is drinking milk, but that's not natural. Another interesting or absolutely misleading myth about snakes is that if you kill a snake the mate of the snake the partner of the snake will seek you and you know take revenge um, you must have seen this um, you know uh, in movies or in some you know mega serials um, a snake is a, a serpent what is it, a nagin 
is uh, seeking revenge because some person killed a, a snake in the past and you know the Nagin is, uh, Nagin is following this uh, person, uh, this guy for generations. That's, that's absolutely baseless. So this is only a good storyline for uh, movies and such serials. When you talk about snakes, we also should uh, remember that India is in fact the snake bite capital of the world. A large number of people, thousands of people die across the country due to snake bites. It's, it's one of the leading human wildlife conflict in the country. Snake bites are curable medical situations where anti-venom which is available in most government hospitals and most private hospitals is the only cure. Across the country, most snake bite victims are taken to a traditional healer or a magician or a, or a, or a practitioner who will try to, I repeat, they will try to heal the snake bite. If it is a bite from a, a medically important snake or a highly venomous snake, then you have to, one should take the victim to the hospital, reassuring, keeping the patient calm and all. Maybe that we can talk another day. but. Snake bites can be absolutely cured in hospitals without any problem. So in case there is a snake bite emergency around you, the first thing what you should do is that keep the victim calm and take him to the nearest hospital and ensure that he gets the best treatment available. It was a quick chat and uh, a tip on World Snake Day. Now when you come across a snake, unknown snake, most of you don't understand or most of you don't recognize or ID a snake. When you come across a snake and you don't know what snake it is, just assume that that is the most venomous snake available in this country. Leave the snake alone. The snake is there, not there to attack you or harm you. Snake accidentally came in front of you. Assume that that's an absolutely venomous snake and leave it alone. That's the safest thing for you and the snake.